up to this point, we've been considering cases where the force is really simple. So, um, for instance, constant forces from gravity or normal forces that are not changing in time. Um, but we can calculate work in more complicated cases. So um, recall that the definition of work is just f dot s. Okay, so the force dot the displacement that the object undergoes. Well, what happens if the force is not constant for the whole motion? What happens if the displacement is doing some sort of complicated thing? So suppose that we have some sort of path that an object follows like this, and maybe the force at each instant is in um, slightly different directions. You know, sometimes it could be um, sort of forwards, sometimes it might be perpendicular or backwards, like so. Okay. There's no reason why that couldn't be the case in you know, any realistic motion. We could have lots of forces applied in lots of directions. Okay, so the trick that we do is we first split up the displacement into little pieces. So you can imagine that if you split this up into little pieces, then each individual piece looks like it's basically a straight line. Okay. Um, and so in the process of doing that, we can just calculate a work for each part. So we can do work is going to be work for the first part, plus work for the second part, plus work for the third part, and so on until we get to the end. And each of those works will be calculated in the normal way. So the force for the first part, um, dotted into the displacement for the first part, plus the force for the second part, dotted into the displacement for the second part, and so on. Um, and if I make each of those little pieces of the path really, really small, okay, if I take the limit um, where each little piece, si, um, is going to become really, really small, then what I end up with is an integral. Okay, so um, I essentially have the sum of a force times a tiny displacement. And when I um, take the limit, then that's going to become an integral of the force dot ds. Okay. Um, so this is what we call a path integral. The integral, in general, will depend on the path you follow. If you follow a different path, you'll get a different integral. Um, so we're not going to consider cases where we have too messy of a path in this class, um, although we will see some cases where maybe the path doesn't matter, and that's um, sort of a special situation. Um, but what this does mean is that we can use this strategy to calculate um, a, a work in a case where the force and the displacement might not just be constant over the whole motion. 